Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the ninth special interest group session on AI. Uh, this is Hashim Barak and I'll be your host for the day. The agenda for today's talk is going to be, uh, uh, we're going to share with you uh, how AI is helping um, advertisers, specifically uh, the marketers and the publishers, um, and how it helps this value exchange between somebody who's selling and the consumers for that product. Uh, the typical agenda that we have for uh, normally I would be sharing my slides at this point, uh, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my teams to start on my laptop. So uh, 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 the agenda that we have for our session is uh, we have opening remarks from Dr. Rashad Ali, who is the president of Spin Labs. Uh, he's the former executive director of Higher Education Commission. Uh, the next item on the agenda would be where I'll be sharing with you on the evolution of advertising and how AI is right now shaping the future of advertising industry, specifically the digital advertisement, uh, sort of the non-traditional advertising channels. And then we will have an open forum where you're open to share your questions or queries. Uh, I see Dr. Ashad Ali is here with us. And Dr. Sir, welcome to the session. Uh, the agenda for today's talk is uh, we have uh, a few minutes allotted for opening remarks from your side, and then we'll move on to the uh, next agenda item, which is AI-powered advertising. So over to you, doctor. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, uh, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for joining. Uh, the purpose of this event is to uh, share uh, the opportunities which are available. Uh, uh, for the faculty as well as the students. Uh, as uh, I always share that our country has a very big issue that faculty also has theory and students also have theory and they also have theory and they also have theory and they also have but they remain uh, oblivious of uh, the practical uh, dimension uh, of the thing. और उस प्रैक्टिकल डायमेंशन की वजह से उन्होंने पढ़ा हुआ तो बहुत कुछ होता है लेकिन जब करने की बारी होती है तो वो कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते और यही वजह है कि अगर आप देखें इंडस्ट्री हमेशा ये कहती है कि जो यूनिवर्सिटी से स्टूडेंट पढ़ के आते हैं वो हमारे किसी काम के नहीं होते ऑन दी एवरेज तकरीबन 25 से 30000 के करीब ग्रेजुएट होते हैं हर साल पाकिस्तानी यूनिवर्सिटीयों से जिनमें से दो ढाई हजार यूनिवर्सिटी के किसी काम के होते हैं बाकी फिर वो सोचते हैं कि हम कोई सीएस कर लें एमबीए कर लें सो दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन व्हिच पीपल फेस सो इसलिए हमने जो ये स्पिन लैब के तहत प्रोग्राम शुरू किया है इसमें वी हेल्प पीपल अंडरस्टैंड के आप स्किल्स कैसे डेवलप कर सकते हो क्योंकि इंडस्ट्री वैल्यू करती है स्किल को और वो स्किल अगर कपल हो सर्टिफिकेशन के साथ इंटरनेशनल सर्टिफिकेशन के साथ तो उनकी फिर एक अथॉरिटी बढ़ जाती है तो दैट इज व्हाट हाशिम इज गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू हाशिम अगर आप तैयार हैं तो ठीक है वरना फिर हम इंट्रोडक्शन का एक राउंड कर लेते हैं um, sir, uh, I'm, I'm ready. I've just set myself up on colleague's laptop. Done. So I've also started sharing my screen. Done. So uh, I apologize, everyone. Um, actually, I was asking that there was a Teams update, which was the machine on the update. And I think that could be the reason. Uh, so let's start. So uh, again, uh, I welcome you all. Thank you, Dr. Saab, for the opening remarks. Uh, let's move to the second agenda item, which is AI-powered uh, marketing. Uh, you know, in, in today's day and age, uh, hum sab, uh, we use mobile phones, we use, uh, of course, web technologies, uh, the devices have increased. And it is a very common observation uh, given when you're talking to somebody in person, you would see an ad pop up to that, related to that conversation on your mobile phone. It could be in the form of, uh, a banner ad on a website. It could be something that you see on the side in your social media account. Uh, it could be even something as text messages. Uh, so even so that uh, nowadays, up let's say, kisi uh, mall me, which has a lot of brands, up mall me giant, so you start getting those messages, and they are driven through these uh, BLE devices, uh, which track the GSM signals and 
and they send you these GSM messages. So uh, the phenomena of targeted marketing is certainly not new at all. Uh, 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 but where the challenge comes is how efficient and how effective those uh, those marketing campaigns are. And, and in today's day and age, where customers are preferring convenience over uh, sophistication or research, where a customer is has a very limited time in their day schedules to go about searching for the vendors, searching for the right quality and finding the best price. Um, it is required for a good publisher or a marketer that he will be very good at marketing that he target uh, customer ke paas right time pe right age group ko rightly configured message deliver ho and that's where AI powered marketing comes in so uh, the agenda for my today's talk was to essentially share with you kis tarah ai is value exchange may help kar raha between consumers and sellers and to achieve this objective i have set out this agenda uh, for today's talk i'll share with you a brief uh, you know about the evolution of the advertising uh, uh, mainly the digital advertising. And then I'll share with you the key players in a, in a, in a digital marketing ecosystem. Uh, the third item would be where I'll share with you what are some of the core underlying uh, technologies, uh, sort of the components of the AI that are critical in driving this AI powered evolution. And then I'll share with you sir, three, uh, three uh, certainly common but generally not observed by the consumers or the marketers as to the availability of these existing solutions out there in the market, um, how these solutions are helping in these common use cases jo marketing can do. And then I'll share with you a couple of links. If you are interested in academia and you want to learn these technologies, how you can uh, go about doing it. So uh, in advertising, uh, typically in the early 90s or Pakistan early 2000, mein, uh, normally, the digital advertising was all about uh, web publishing. Website pe you would sell these uh, banner spaces or, or, or ad spaces. Then uh, Google came. Google ne usko zara zyada, uh, Initially, I would need to know what particular website I need to go into. Then search engines came. It sort of made the job easier for the sellers to connect with the buyers, and they and based on your search terms, you would be there was a possibility that you can land a good right quality uh, web page. Pe land kar uh, uske baad ek phase came in which uh, media buying or uh, focused digital marketing publishers came in. And they started specific uh, places, specific ads or banners, ke, uh, jo, jo, jo and they started to create these uh, these these campaigns for specific industries and specific products. At a certain point, uh, there was this concept of auctions, which is uh, not very common these days, but that's where uh, ad publisher would, uh, where the whole inventory of a certain industry or a certain product, uh, ki just marketing space, or the whole inventory, inventory se hai ke maybe banners, uh, maybe microsites, uh, maybe uh, campaigns, they are then sold to these marketeers by these publishers. And then last stage is where we are talking about today is AI based advertising, where uh, the machine is sort of helping you drive your effectiveness and efficiency. These are the three main players um, in, a, in a typical digital marketing landscape. Pehla to wo hai, jo ke the person who is bringing the product or the service to the market. And the analogy that I'm using here, and this is borrowed from IBM, is like a like a like a beehive. Uh, so what you see here on the screen is the people who are selling a product, they are like beehives. They have a solution, the honey that they want to sell, right? And and in the in the jargon of digital marketing or advertisement, they are known as the marketers, or they are the people who are bringing value on the table. Now this value is expected to be consumed by people like us, by people. Who are the actual consumers and 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 let's say in this analogy so uh, a beer would certainly want to uh, eat that honey uh, in consumers ko marketeers ke saath connect karte hai publishers publishers are essentially the people typically you would 
यू वुड से क्योंकि मार्केटर्स आर द गाइज जो किन को कनेक्ट करते हैं बट इन द इन द टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ मार्केटिंग लैंडस्केप दीज आर द पब्लिशर पब्लिशर्स आर द फोक्स जिनके पास प्री मेड रेसिपीज मौजूद होती हैं फॉर स्पेसिफिक इंडस्ट्रीज स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेज सो इफ यू आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर ए सेलर ऑफ लैपटॉप दे वुड नो हाउ टू सेल अ लैपटॉप इन अ पर्टिकुलर जियोग्राफी और अ पर्टिकुलर एज ग्रुप और अ पर्टिकुलर जेंडर एंड दे विल हेल्प यू कनेक्ट योर प्रोडक्ट विद द राइट ऑडियंस सो द थर्ड कंपोनेंट इन इन दिस इको सिस्टम ऑफ दिस पब्लिशर्स ये जो दिस पब्लिशर्स कुड भी लाइक अ वेब मास्टर जो कि वेबसाइट मेंटेन करता है एंड ही हैज दैट डेडिकेटेड स्लॉट अवेलेबल दे कुड बी दी सोफिस्टिकेटेड मीडिया बाइंग एजेंसीज दीज एजेंसीज हैव यू नो स्पेसिफिक इन्वेंटरी ऑफ एड्स अवेलेबल दैट मार्केटर कैन बाय एंड एंड रीच आउट टू द कंज्यूमर्स now what are the components of a ai driven marketing uh, cookies were very common um, they, they are still common but they are being gradually phased out uh, uh, their first party cookies hoti hain third party cookies hoti hain first party cookies are essentially when i go on and i type let's say i go to ibm.com to ibm ek file mere system pe save kar degi and that file would contain my preferences let's say maine uske andar jaake uh, us website ke andar ek dark मोड है और एक 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 ब्राइट मोड है यू नो और मे बी द वेबसाइट है एज लैंग्वेज प्रेफरेंसेस जी समबडी वांटेड टू से समथिंग सो अह सो जो जो प्रेफरेंसेस होते हैं वो वेबसाइट्स इन ऑर्डर टू मेक योर यूजर एक्सपीरियंस गुड दे वुड सेव दैट ऑन योर ऑन योर सिस्टम देन देयर वाज दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ थर्ड पार्टी मार्केटिंग सॉरी थर्ड पार्टी कुकीज उन थर्ड पार्टी कुकीज में एसेंशियली यू गो टू अ वेबसाइट you go to ibm's website for example but you see an ad of a different website that's not essentially ibm and that website is tracking your behavior over the over the internet through these third party cookies uh, this has been um uh, effective uh, but this has been sort of where you are at the where you are being bombarded with these messages uh which do not necessarily resonate with you just because you searched a particular term maybe you are not ready to buy that product uh, or maybe you are just having a simple plain conversation with a friend so in order to drive that message to the right person who is at the right stage of the buying cycle yani wo pehle research bhi kar chuka hai consider bhi kar chuka hai shortlist bhi kar chuka hai and now he is at the stage of buying it to so maybe a good marketing should target the customers who are at the certain stage of the buying cycle uh through the, through cookies it was certainly not that effective or that efficient by the way cookies are as we all know uh, they are being phased out gradually globally through third party cookies specifically because of the privacy issues and so on uh google i think it's it's going to be in 2022 apple and couple of other uh, uh, other you know mozilla and other are, have already uh, gradually starting to phase these out the third party cookies so there is a huge gap in the market and that's where ai comes in in order for a good ai driven marketing to be successful the first key pillar is natural language processing the ability for your machine for your algorithm to understand what the consumer is saying in the natural language so that's one of the key pillars without that it wouldn't be possible that's why agar mai aur aap let's say you know there, there are hundreds and thousands of languages but still people are getting those ads that's because of the ability of machine to understand and process text and speech in different natural languages the next important component is ke uh how the machine would function agar wo data sets wo choti choti files wo cookies aapke system pe nahi hai which are essentially documenting and tracking your online behavior so so that is another critical factor and that would be the driving force behind ai then audience Uh, in a typical marketing digital marketing campaign uh, there is an advertising id that is being assigned to an individual or maybe a machine and then that id sort of accumulates all the buying behaviors and preferences done on that machine or done by that individual so what if those ids uh, become phased out what if you do not have an id but you want to look at the consumer behavior in real time aur aap predict karein ki iski next move kya hogi is particular 
पर्सन की जो कि आपकी वेबसाइट पे आके मे बी दे हैव पुट सम प्रोडक्ट इन टू योर कार्ट और वो कार्ट के बाद क्या वुड दे रियली गो आउट टू द चेकआउट स्क्रीन और वुड दे स्टॉप देयर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर 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 वन ऑफ द की फैक्टर्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू लेवरेजिंग एआई इन एडवर्टाइजिंग देन पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन सॉर्ट ऑफ फीड्स इनटू व्हाट आई जस्ट सेड के नॉट जस्ट ए a single instance but where you are looking at a number of inputs where are multiple layers jahan pe wo uh, uh, you know where you have this uh, deep learning and 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 machine learning concept deep learning where you have at least three layers between input and output and that helps you recognize those patterns jo ki otherwise recognizable nahi hote so sort of you go into the depths of the patterns in order to identify and predict the consumer behavior then sentimental analysis sentimental analysis essentially uh, recognizing what you post what you share on the world wide web and and creating a profile of the consumer and based on that profile uh, uh, you may be getting a feedback on your products you may be getting a chance to update your offerings or you so uh, sentimental analysis is essentially jahan pe aap consumers ka online Uh, jo what they say maybe in the form of audio or what they are typing in the form of text and you are analyzing it whether it's a, it carries a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment or maybe a neutral sentiment and then you use that sentiment to drive your marketing campaigns use that sentiment uh, to to improve your products uh, use those sentiments to uh, to 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 determine when to target who to target and these kind of things Uh, so uh, then there are three specific use cases that i wanted to share ek usme weather targeting hai so for example if you are a retailer of of of, of a clothing brand uh, and and you want to start targeting uh, jaise hi weather mein change aaye because weather is a very important determinant of human emotions and human behaviors uh, garmi garmi zyada ho jaye to you know humans behave in a certain different way just हमारे यहाँ वेदर्स आर वेरी हार्श एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग इन समर्स बट इन विंटर्स पीपल मे बी कैरिंग डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ इमोशंस बिकॉज ऑफ दोज वेदर इफेक्ट्स एंड दोज इमोशंस ड्राइव बाइंग बिहेवियर्स सेलिंग में एक चीज़ कहा जाता है यू डोंट बाय बेस्ड ऑन रैशनल यू बाय बिहेव यू बाय बेस्ड ऑन योर इमोशंस यानी कंज्यूमर्स जनरली दे डोंट से दे डोंट गो आउट टू अ शॉप एंड दे वुड मेक दीज रैशनल कंपेरिजन दैट वी sorry somebody was saying something so so normally consumers would not be uh, sort of making these decision rationally in these things though we would think that they do that but uh, but at, at at a subliminal level the buying behavior is driven by emotions and weather is one of the key factors that affects human emotions so what if you are a clothing brand or what if you are an ice cream seller uh, you know and 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 you are a global distributor of of ice creams let's say you cover the whole eu region and you are able to craft these marketing campaigns and messaging based on the weather data wouldn't that be more effective and more efficient to do taaki aapke jo marketing dollars and they are not being wasted on areas or in geographies or in age groups which are in a different set of weather so weather targeting is a certainly not a new phenomena but it is certainly a very effective phenomena where products are being positioned and marketed utilizing that weather data then the uh, another key use case is nowadays uh, is you know with with instagram and snapchat and facebook and so on and 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 vlogging and youtube uh, influencers ka jo hai uh, you know influencers are very uh, influencers are very uh, helpful in bringing your brand to the market so as, as a brand you would ideally want to find an influencer which has a lot of following uh, and by following a good brand would want to first analyze ke do these followers does this influencer matches my brand identity and that's not an easy job to do because uh, typically influencers would have a good influencer would have hundreds and thousands of followers and what kind of a persona that they have where do they live what do they eat what do they think what do they uh, you know feel uh, how how do they how do their followers react what kind of likings and dislikings unke followers ki hai so this whole set of analysis is required when you are 
as a, as a global brand, you want to hire some influencer. Uh, so social targeting with influential is essentially a solution which helps you match make your brand identity with the right influencer. Or you use this, you use natural language processing, you use sentimental analysis, you use tone analyzer. These are the specific services that are available in IBM Watson's uh, portfolio. Uh, so you use these to analyze the brand as well as the influencer, and then the machine helps you match make with the right influencer. And then based on that, in the next step is the predictive uh, sort of uh, uh, predictive campaigning where you use that analysis to de-risk your decision. In other words, uh, the, the decision to who to target, when to target, what to target, age group, kya ho, demographics, kya ho, uh, uh, social background, kaisa ho, economic background, kaisa ho, uh, should that person be a retiree or should that person be a millennial, should that person be a baby boomer and so on. So based on that analysis, you then craft those campaigns and you drive the, uh, you sort of predicted uh, the buying behavior. So these are some of the, the, the use cases that are right now. Um, not at the forefront, but certainly uh, very impactful use cases of AI in, in, in advertising. Uh, these are some of the links that I wanted to share. Uh, so if you want to learn what how, how AI can help you advertise, share again. So um, we'll be sharing these links um, after the session um, through our social media and and through our website. So so this is this is a really nice article that I found very helpful. Um, and this is by IBM because many of use cases IBM use cases. So if you want to know know how AI can help you in advertising, you may want to you know go go through this article. Uh, then uh, Watson is essentially uh, uh, offers you a range of different APIs. And if you want to learn what are those APIs, Watson Cassie Natural Language Processing, Tone, tone Analysis Cassie Kerta, Sentimental Analysis Kerta, Deep Learning Algorithms Cassie Kerta. So, so you can come to this web page, read a couple of their blogs. Uh, these, are, these are very insightful and very helpful, and they sort of uh, represent this accumulated knowledge. Uh, of, of decades and decades of, of machine learning. And then there are specific trainings that are also available. And these trainings on, are on each individual API. And the way they have sort of designed these badges is you don't learn advertising, but you learn the underlying technology. So if you are interested in how, in, how AI works beneath the business use case, of the the the, uh, the the technology so these are different badges that are available that you can go out to learn so for example in case of natural language processing speech to text uh, how, do, how does that work uh, in case of uh, what's an open scale what's some machine learning essential and so on so these are some of the tools that are out there uh, available on the web that you as academia or maybe if you're from industry that you would want to learn if you are interested in in, 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 in how AI is helping in, in advertising. So uh, with this, uh, I do have one last uh, comment to say. And and uh, since we have Dr. Hershad with us, so uh, Dr. Hershad has been helping us and advising us, and he has been very kindly sharing with all of us, uh, taking time out of his schedule to, to share with the rest of us as to how how important is it for us that we and, and today uh, is his uh, birthday, so I wanted to take this opportunity to wish Dr. Rashid Ali um, a very happy and, and, and joyful birthday. Happy birthday to you, sir. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, Hakim, can you please share uh, these links? Uh, uh, ye jo chat window hai isme, that is number one. 
दूसरी बात ये है कि जो आपने ये बताया है कि आई का ये जो ट्रेनिंग मटेरियल है इसकी एक्सेसिबिलिटी के हवाले से थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस अगेन तो इसकी एक्सेसिबिलिटी के हवाले से कैन एनीबडी एक्सेस दैट और या कोई उसका स्पेसिफिक एफिलिएशन होनी चाहिए कैसे होगा वो नॉर्मली द इंडिविजुअल फ्रॉम एकेडेमिया कैन एक्सेस दिस थ्रू एकेडेमिक आउटरीच प्रोग्राम Uh, sort of the global university program that IBM has, and in this program, uh, anybody, most of the universities that are already registered. So let me show you. Uh, most of these technology vendors, दुनिया में जितने भी हैं, they always have these programs for academia. So if you go to this website, uh, you can get your university if it is not registered, registered, and that's a very easy process. It's not a very bureaucratic one. Uh, go to IBM Academic Initiative. Under this initiative, uh, all the offerings that IBM has, they are available for free for the students and the faculty to learn or to teach. So, it's going to teaching resources, be hoti hai, learning resources, be hoti hai. Uh, plus, uh, they also provide uh, free lab resources. Uske andar they give uh, the users the access to these softwares. Of course, in a limited fashion they are not the commercial solutions yeah. that are available for free but this is how anybody can get access to these resources as long as they are in academia that is to say they have a dot edu email id if you want to register again that's a very easy process um, i can quickly go over this uh, if you click register now it will ask you to submit your email id agar wo email id let's say it's at nurse.edu.pk hua to wo aapko foran se sign in karne dega but if at nurse.edu.pk is not registered with IBM's academic initiative so it will take you to a form it will ask you to insert ki aap kya degree kar rahe hain aapki university kahan pe based hai and and couple of very um, easy to answer questions and then it takes about a week or 10 working days where they get back to you with the confirmation ke now you are registered and then uh, what you can do is you can in fact share this with the rest of your students uh, your you know your class fellows or your Uh, uh, colleagues who are in the faculty and they can also start utilizing the academic initiative program and iske andar uh, it is not just limited to what i just showed you about watson there are other topics in this area also available so if you are interested in let's say security blockchain uh, if you are interested in finding some fit projects so there are capstone resources are also available similarly healthcare ke andar industry vertical wise bhi iske andar learning and teaching resources available and plus technology wise so there are resources in cloud there are resources in in power system these are some of the uh, sort of uh, main servers that IBM has offer um, has to offer then red hat red hat was acquired by IBM uh, a few years ago so all the red hat resources can also be accessed that quantum computing and so on. so this is how we, you can you can access these resources uh, आशिम ये स्टूडेंट्स आपका इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम भी ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं और इसी तरीके से फैकल्टी आपके साथ प्रोजेक्ट्स भी कर सकती है उसका भी जरा थोड़ा सा शेयर कर जी सर सो इफ 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 एनीवन ऑफ यू इज इंटरेस्टेड इन 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 बिकमिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ अस द डिफरेंट वेज टू डू इट पहली चीज तो ये है कि वी कैन हेल्प यू Uh, learn those skills which will sort of make you aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi hakim aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi ji ji The audio went out. So, so um, Ashim, I'm back to my mobile phone. Uh, gee, sir, I can. Sorry, my system. Just say something wrong. So, so uh, if anybody wants to get uh, on board with us, uh, there are a couple of ways that you can do that. Uh, one is by going to our website, Jafar. वेबसाइट का लिंक चैट विंडो में भी शेयर कर देते हैं गो टू दैट वेबसाइट दे आर स्पेसिफिक कोर्सेज और सर्टिफिकेशंस अवेलेबल वी जनरली इनकरेज स्टूडेंट्स कि वो ये सर्टिफिकेशंस भी लें विल हेल्प यू विल गाइड यू एंड कोच यू कि उन सर्टिफिकेशंस के लिए 
कैसे आपने उनको अप्रोच करना है देर एस एम ईज इन आवर कंपनी हु कैन गेट ऑन अ कॉल इफ यू सीरियस अबाउट फॉलोइंग दोज सर्टिफिकेशन दैट पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू इफ यू ऑलरेडी हैव स्किल्स and you want to start working so we have this uh, uh uh this opportunity where we help you start where we sort of give you the opportunity to start shadowing our technical teams so usme ye hoga ki you come on board and then you get access to these resources let's say on microsoft teams or other repositories of the company where you get exposure to the conversations with the customers exposure to the internal team meetings and you are simply shadowing the team and learning and there are discussion boards and the way and and the questions that you post or the or the questions that you ask to the team help us determine uh, your own skill set and interest in that area job shadowing can then convert into unpaid internship it can lead to a paid internship it can lead to being an associate and then there are there is a hierarchy that goes to the uh, vice president level so 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 you know if you want to no more um, please send us an email at spinlabs@spsnet.com jafar um, if you can please share this email id in the chat window so uh, i'll be happy to get on a call and 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 maybe talk to you personally as to how i can help you so jiro sir sure, thank you very much sir now you can go through the round of introduction I'm sure, sir. So. Just... Sorry, uh, sorry. I have a question, please, sir. Can you listen please, to me? Please, sir, I am Hasib Akmal from Virtual University of Pakistan Computer Science Department. Uh, it was a really nice presentation, sir. I'm really grateful to you. My question is, uh, which background, you know, which academic background or the skill or expertise level do you expect from person like us to do some research especially from research point of view uh, like uh, if, if if i am uh, just ms in it but i don't know the abc of marketing and how advertisement and you know things like that so should i learn for some marketing domain knowledge or how will you guide us thank you um uh, should, should i answer this one or would you care to ha aap bata de fir main add kar dunga so usme haseeb uh, first of all thank you for asking this question uh, uh, as an uh, if you if you do not have a background uh, we do our we do right now in the we are in the process of uh, of of hiring marketing Uh, slash content development interns and as an intern intern position itself is where we are helping you learn so if you have the basics for example you you can write a decent set of uh, you know you can write decent good language you, you you can write decently good english and and you have the ability to research and and summarize uh, uh, content then we do have an opportunity right now usme hum digital marketing slash content writers dekh rahe at an intern level so is opportunity ke liye you do not need to have a lot of skill set in place so that's point number 1 and if you're interested so uh, please send me an email at spinlab@spinlab.com uh, but if you want to grow your skills which was sort of the other part of your question so ek to uske andar uh, aap business side ki uh, certification le sakte hain usme hubspot hai hubspot ki methodology is वेरी कॉमन दीज डेज हबस्कॉट अकेडमी पे जाके आप डिफरेंट कोर्सेज कर सकते हैं मार्केटिंग से रिलेटेड एंड दर इज अ होल रेंज ऑफ कोर्सेज दैट आर अवेलेबल रेंजिंग फ्रॉम कंटेंट राइटिंग टू इवन वीडियो एनिमेशन एंड फोटोग्राफी एंड 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 एस सी ओ एंड सो ऑन सो दिज अ होल सेट ऑफ कोर्सेज जो कि आप हबस्कॉट अकेडमी से कर सकते हैं वेरी हेल्पफुल है ऑल्सो बाई द वे so so i would highly encourage ki aap hubspot ke wo courses kare the other thing that i would recommend is design thinking also because design thinking will help you in the get in the mode where you start thinking from a customer perspective so ibm ke design thinking ke kuch courses available hain online uh, which are for free so these are some of the options that you can use to start if you have a background in let's say cs and you want to grow into marketing so you can start doing it plus jo maine aapko ibm watson ke share kiye 
natural language processing, uh, personality insights, sentimental analysis. So those could be nicely paired up with your business side uh, certification. अच्छा इसमें मैं ये ऐड करूंगा कि ये पाकिस्तान में ही होता है कि बैकग्राउंड या क्वालिफिकेशन दुनिया में अगर आप देखें तो वहां पे इस किस्म की कोई चीज नहीं होती है माइक्रोसॉफ्ट में आप चले जाए आई बी में बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिन्होंने एम ए इंग्लिश किया हुआ है या बी ए हिस्ट्री किया हुआ है और वो इनकी काफी सीनियर पोजीशन पे आए लेकिन उन्होंने अपनी इंटरेस्ट के साथ सर्टिफिकेशन जो ये डिफरेंट होती हैं वो करके दे गेट दी एक्सपर्टीज एंड देन दे प्रोग्रेस इन देयर लाइफ तो हकीकत में तो ये है कि यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई योर पैशन और उसके मुताबिक फिर इंसान मेहनत करे तो ये जो डिग्रियां होती हैं ये इंसान का सिर्फ एक मेंटल डेवलपमेंट का लेवल वो करने के लिए होती हैं उससे ज्यादा इनका कोई पर्पज नहीं होता है बाकी इंसान अपनी मेहनत से सारी चीजें हासिल करता है सो दैट इज व्हाट आई कैन ऐड टू व्हाट्स एवर हाश मै सर सो आई होप दिस आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन ओवर टू यू फॉर नेक्स्ट uh ji sir so uh, we do have a round of introductions at the end um if anybody of you would like to unmute and share with the rest of us as to your interest in ai or, or anything else that you want to share please feel free to do so uh so the first per individual i see in my in my list is abdul ghani abdul ghani sir would you care to unmute yourself <clears throat> hello assalam alaikum sir ji wa alaikum assalam अब्दुल गनी सर मैं वर्चुअल यूनिवर्सिटी से मैं रेगुलर मेंबर हूँ स्पिन लैब का वैसे आपकी सेशन कुछ देर से मैं स्किप किया था थोड़ा सा तो इन अभी रेगुलर ही चलता रहेगा पहले है डॉक्टर साहब से भी मेरा तरफ है Assalamu alaikum everyone um i'm i just joined in from uk so i'm doing my phd here uh, along with working uh, at an automotive um, dealership dealing with the financial and analytic analytics analytical side of things in terms of data so we're also looking into ke hum kaise incorporate kar sakte hain ai because we've got the structure now uh, and so the next step is how to automate this whole process of analytics and everything so by the way very good session hashim uh and also some great input from from everybody around there so looking forward to more of these inshallah thank you thank you bilal um next we have haseeb ji sir assalamu alaikum to all of you once again uh mera computer science aur it se hi related kuch uh, interest hai degree bc mein hai koi ek aad paper bhi publish karne ka mauka mila data science mein so i'm more interested in ai and uh, particularly in machine learning so uh, yes domain differs but ai applies in almost every aspect of life in which we are currently living so bada maza aaya i really enjoyed the talk ek naya perspective mila mujhe ki ai idhar bhi bahut si cheezon ko apply kar rahi hai aur cheeze results aa rahe hain so mera kuch focus ye thoda sa hai कि अगर हम आ, सीख सकें रिसर्च पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इसमें कोई पेपर पब्लिकेशन और रिसर्च में लर्निंग को हो सके आई डोंट नो आप आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और इस प्लेटफॉर्म का फोकस ज्यादा क्या है मैं कुछ ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट नहीं रहा हूँ प्रीवियस जो टॉक्स हैं स्पेशली एआई के जो आपका चैप्टर कह लें लेकिन मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि रिसर्च पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से आपका फोकस क्या है मेरा कुछ ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट वही है कि हम मशीन लर्निंग और ए आई पीछे तो मशीन लर्निंग के अलगरदम्स ही हैं कैसे कंटेंट और ये डिजिटल मार्केटिंग मीडिया यूजर फिर तो सारी जो कहानी है कैसे उसमें ये रोल प्ले करता है तो उसमें लिटरेचर रिव्यू किया जा सकता है स्टडी किया जा सकता है इस फील्ड को फिर उसमें कोई देखा जा सकता है कौन सी टेक्निक्स हैं मशीन लर्निंग की और कौन से अलगरदम्स हैं इधर ब्रॉडली स्पीकिंग सुपरवाइज लर्निंग है या अनसुपरवाइज है और फर्दर फिर एलगरदम्स हैं बहुत से हम जानते हैं ए या कंप्यूटर साइंस के लोग हम आप लोग बेहतर जानते हैं कि फिर वो कौन से सूटेबल टेक्निक्स होंगे जी प्लीज हाँ सीम ये है कि देखो 
मैं तो ये बिलीव करता हूँ कि ऐसी रिसर्च का कोई फायदा नहीं है जो सोसाइटी को बेनिफिट ना करे और हमारे मसाइल को हल ना करे और हर रिसर्च जो होती है उसमें ये कैपेसिटी होती है कि उसे पब्लिश किया जा सकता है आ, हम मैं जब नष्ट में था तो हमने बच्चों को आ, की लर्निंग पे कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट किए थे उस पर हमने पेपर पब्लिश किया था और जॉर्जिया टेक वालों ने बाद में हमें कहा कि इस एरिया में हम आपके साथ पार्टनरशिप में काम करना चाहते हैं हमारे मुल्क में बदकिस्मती यह है कि प्रोफेसर भी और स्टूडेंट भी कहते हैं जी हम रिसर्च करते हैं और पब्लिश करते हैं लेकिन वो रिसर्च किसके काम की है ये कोई फिक्र नहीं करता तो हम जो है वी आर मेनली कंसर्न विद अप्लाइड रिसर्च एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉलेज लेकिन उसमें पहले जो फोकस है वो मसले को हल करना है फिर उसकी पब्लिकेशन है जबकि पाकिस्तान में लोग उल्टा काम करते हैं कि पहले रिसर्च करने की कोशिश करते हैं और वो कहते हैं उसे पब्लिश करके और बस उसी पे खुश होकर बैठ जाते हैं वो मसला हल हुआ किसी का या नहीं हुआ उससे किसी का कोई ताल्लुक नहीं होता है सो अगर आप हमारी वेबसाइट पे जाकर देखें सो वी आर मोस्टली कंसर्न विद अप्लाइड डोमेन लेकिन हमारे जो लोग हैं या एम्प्लॉज हैं वो रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन भी करते हैं लेकिन वो उसी चीज की करते हैं जिसने किसी का मसला हल किया हो जी हाशम जी सर्टनली डॉक्टर डॉक्टर साहब आई थिंक यू कवर्ड इट वेल उसमें देर इज अटन अपॉर्चुनिटी स्पेसिफिक वन दैट वी हैव हसीब जो आपने मेंशन किया यू हैव बैकग्राउंड इन डेटा साइंस एंड एंड यू आर लुकिंग फॉर uh for for some area where you can uh, you can you can get some deliverables for your research so usme payments industry ke andar payment fraud is a big area and usme the use of ai in in detecting and preventing fraud in real time payments real time se murad uh jo aap uh, you know credit card se debit card se kisi dukan pe fuel pump pe ja ke transaction ya online e-commerce ke through transactions karte hain where the transaction takes place in let's say 1 2 3 4 5 seconds so those are real time transactions un transactions ke andar fraud detect karna is a huge challenge jo ke because of time limitation humans nahi kar sakte and that's where machine comes in so uh, uh, if you can share your email address in the chat window i'll share with you some literature on how currently ai is helping detect and prevent that fraud and if you are interested in that then we can get on a conversation and see कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर काफी पुराना हो गया इसलिए भूल भी गया है इट्स एन ऑडिट फर्म जहाँ पर मैं काम कर रहा हूँ एज एन इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ऑडिटर एंड सेकेंडली आप इफ यू नो द इंडस्ट्री तो ऑडिट फर्म यूजली जो हैं वो कॉलेज के साथ यहाँ पर बनती हैं तो स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस एंड मैनेजमेंट जिसका मैं परमानेंट एम्प्लॉय हूँ आई एम वर्किंग हेयर इन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ सोशल मीडिया मैनेजमेंट about spin labs i just recognize the name i've been receiving an email every now and then so today it got me curious ke i should attend this session and see what you guys are offering but unfortunately i was late to the meeting so here i am so so not a problem and you're very welcome you are uh, welcome, i think you will um, we will be making the recording available Uh, on the website so you can certainly go back and listen to it uh, you know if you have time so uh, yeah um, ai ke bare mein uh, or, back in yeah irfan, sorry yes sir sure, sure sure g doubt sir irfan aapke knowledge ke liye hashim also comes with the financial background lekin abhi isne a uh, it mein itni expertise hai ke log samajhte hain isne phd kiya hua hai computer science mein जबरदस्त है दैट्स सो नाइस टू हेयर एक्चुअली मुझे अभी तक फाइनेंस के बारे में जिसको कहते हैं ना टका भी नहीं पता बट ये कि आई हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद अ लॉट ऑफ ऑडिटर्स कह ले चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स के साथ काम करने का मेरा एक्सपीरियंस काफ़ी हो चुका है 
आई टी ऑडिट की फील्ड में काफी काम किया तो आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू रिलेट ए आई क्योंकि मैंने इसलिए इस पे आज क्लिक कर दिया बींग इवन लेट सॉरी फॉर दैट बट मैंने इसलिए क्लिक कर दिया बैक इन टू थाउजेंड टू आई बिलीव और मे बी वन इन माई बैचलर्स वहाँ पे वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड अम्पल प्रोग्राम हमने एक बनाया था जो जो प्रिडिक्ट करता था कि मतलब आप कोई यू कैन गेस समथिंग और वो सिस्टम से आप सिस्टम आपसे ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन करता था डिफरेंट टाइप के एंड इट शोज यू तो इट वॉज अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस ओवर दैट तो इसलिए अभी तक भी इधर कॉलेज के साथ एसोसिएट होते हुए बहुत सारे ऐसे जिस तरह सीमा का एक प्रोग्राम है यू माइट नो चार्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट का उसको मैं पढ़ाता हूँ तो वहाँ पे एक अप अपर लेवल पे आपकी ए के बारे में काफी डिस्कशन है डेटा एनालिटिक्स में तो दिस क्लिक मी वो बैकग्राउंड भी और जो अभी करंट सिनेरियो चल रहा है उसकी वजह से ए आई क्लिक मी और मैंने इस सेशन को ज्वाइन किया बट आई वुड लाइक टू नो मोर आई गो थ्रू योर वेबसाइट वट यू गाइज आर ऑफरिंग डेफिनेटली आई बिन टीचिंग केड्स के जी ए आई हैज अ वेरी बिग इम्पैक्ट और अभी सब कुछ यूज ही ऐसे ही हो रहा है क्योंकि देर इज बिग डाटा और डेटा एनालिटिक्स और ये सारी चीजें चल रही है जिसकी बेसिस पे ए आई यूज हो रही है ए आई लर्निंग भी है मशीन लर्निंग भी है जिस तरह आप लोगों ने सारी बातें की हैं तो क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस ग्रुप एंड इफ पॉसिबल तो मैं अपने नेक्स्ट जितने भी सेशन आप लोगों के हो रहे हैं आई वुड लाइक टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट Yes, sure. Uh, certainly, uh, we'll be delighted to have you with us, and and uh, so thanks again for joining. So next we have uh, Maz. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Uh, my name is Maz. Uh, first of all, thank you for a great session, Hashim. Very useful information about how AI can be used in this uh, particular domain, uh, marketing. Uh, I'm currently based in Sweden, and I'm working as a data and business analyst at IKEA, which is uh, one of the world's largest home furnishing company. Uh, my role here is to analyze relevant data and measures of our ecosystem and uh, the product usage and in, in return provide insights to the business teams and uh, the upper management. I would also like to highlight one thing uh, that before moving to Sweden, I did my internship at Spin Labs under the supervision of Hashim and a few others and completed a couple of certifications within the field of data science and analytics. And it has immensely helped me throughout my career. So if you're thinking of joining Spin Labs, I can vouch for them and I highly, highly recommend it. Thank you very much once again, Hashim. You're welcome, Maas, and thank you for the kind comments. Uh, Maas was, was with us a uh, couple of years ago, and uh, Maas would uh, sort of, you know, come to the office. He would help me, and then we started exploring. इसी तरह हमारे उस ब्लॉकचेन पे we were focusing back in 2017, um, 18, and and Maas Maas interest started uh, uh, spiking in 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 the in the technology in the sense that the certifications जो मैं अभी आपको कुछ बता रहा था तो वहाँ से डेटा साइंस के अंदर आई आई रिमेम्बर वो हडू पर दूसरी चीज़ों के अंदर माज ने एक्सप्लोर करना शुरू किया एंड एवरी नाउ एंड देन ही वुड से कि यार मैंने ये सर्टिफिकेशन कर लिया और अब ये भी कर लिया एंड एंड यू नो वन फाइन मॉर्निंग मुझे पता लगता है कि माज को ऑफर आ गई स्टूडेंट से बेस्ड ऑन दो सर्टिफिकेशन दैट्स द पावर ऑफ स्किल्स स्किल्स स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड स्किल्स दैट यू गेट बाय बाय हैविंग दीज इंडस्ट्री रेलिवेंट स्किल्स so and 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 as you have seen maz has done well for himself and and he is now working for ikea so uh, so we hardly encourage as jabsan ne kaha ki hum log uh, then uh, fundamental uh, applied knowledge applied research applied skills ki taraf aaye so thank you maz for joining me so uh with this uh, i believe we are to the list of attendees uh, unless anybody else has any question or query we can wrap up this session so uh thank you everyone for joining thank you for your time i hope this was a useful spend of your one hour and i apologize for the initial uh delay in getting my powerpoint up uh but the recordings would be made available so if you missed any part or there was any disruption you should be able to get that later on the next session on ai would be 4 weeks from now Uh, immediately next week we have the session on cloud technologies hum log ek series kar rahe hain on 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 dockers devops and and sort of container based architecture so we'll be having the next session in in a series of this so if you're interested uh, keep checking your emails and jafar would be sharing with you more on this so uh, and, and with that we can close this session thank you everyone for joining and a very happy uh, birthday to dr ashadali 
Thank you, Hashim. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Allah Hafiz.